Hey y'all, so Lala Kemp feels like she carried season 11 of Vanderpump Rules on her back. Reality Blurb reported that Lala said that she feels like every headline this season has been about her. She even said, my back hurts. This was all said on a May 15th appearance on an Amazon Live. Lala said the hate was extremely loud and it was hard this time. While Lala was previously accused of bullying Rachel Raquel Levis and expressed regret over doing so, the same can't be said for her interactions with other castmates this year. Lala said there are moments that I could say, you know, I wish I would have handled that differently and I was heated in the moment. This is the first season where I stand behind what I said and I stand behind what I did. So there's no remedying the audience's opinion of me right now. After it was recently revealed that Katie had sent her a message slamming her as a clown and telling her she needs a therapist, not a lawyer, Lala confirmed the post came in response to her friendship with Sheena Shea. The reason she called me a clown was because I was hanging out with Sheena. Lala said her and Katie were in a good place at the time. According to Lala, the most hurtful thing about Katie's message was the way she signed off. She knew exactly why I had lawyers. She knew exactly what my lawyers were doing in my custody battle. And for her to just throw that out there was so wild to me. Also surprising to Lala was Katie's reaction to her sharing of what was said about Ariana Maddox behind her back, which included Katie being upset over feeling like she was doing the bulk of the work regarding her restaurant with Ariana something about her. That was not a confidential conversation that she's talking about. These are statements she made to production and then flipped the script on everybody last minute, Lala confirmed. There were confidential conversations between the two of us, and I did not and will not say anything that she said or I said in those conversations. Despite their current feud, Lala said time does crazy things when she was asked about a potential reconciliation. With Vanderpump Rules being on a filming hiatus, a number of rumors have swirled in the regard to what Season 12 will look like and what the cast will be for The Valley Season 2. As for a role on The Valley for Lala, all she would say was, I don't know what my summer will look like. I kind of am just taking everything one day at a time. As for Sandoval, Lala said they don't talk. She said she was simply seeing all sides of the Sandoval aftermath of season 11. Lala explained, I didn't jump on the Sandoval train. There may be things with Ariana that don't make sense to me, but I'm sticking with her. Lala is also sticking with Sheena. Said, I'm not letting anyone ruin it. Sheena lets Lala Lala and I let Sheena Sheena. Whenever anyone wants to complain about either of us, I'm like, let us Lala and Sheena all right back off because we've got it figured out, you know? It goes so beyond this show. This is family. This is deep rooted now. You can watch part two of the Vanderpump Rules reunion next Tuesday on Bravo. Here's a clip of Lala's live that she did discussing all this. Um, you can slide in the chat, but Amazon only sends me the nice ones. So if you're going to troll me, head on over to Instagram. Because <laughs> <laughs> I won't be seeing here. Um, WK says, Lala, all of the headlines coming out of the reunion are about you today. I feel like, I feel like every headline this season has been about me. <laughs> <laughs>
my mom has always told me you're in charge of your own emotions. And I know that I can't control what people are saying in the comment section. And for some reason this season, I was not able to control how I was feeling. And I'm also pregnant. So what can I do? Well, I can say to myself, I'm not going to look at comments. I'm going to remove myself from social media. And it was hard this round because when I've gotten a lot of heat, for example, Raquel for many years, when I would go in on her over and over again and people would tell me that I was a bully or this, that, and the other, there were moments that I could say, you know, I wish I would have handled that differently and I was heated in the moment. This is the first where like I stand behind what I said and I stand behind what I did so there's no remedy the audience's opinion of me right now so what do you do when you can't control other people and you can't control your own emotions you remove yourself and that's what I've had to do and I'm okay with that but just so you know just because I am not actually seeing it and in the comment section. I know what's being said. And I felt that there was a line where when we're talking about the show and things like that, I'm all about it. I'm a reality TV person. I'm obsessed. When I start seeing people talk about me as a mother, start talking about my kids, and going so far below the belt where it has nothing to do with Vanderpump Rules anymore, that's when I tap out because a fire set in my chest and I just don't want to expose you guys to that because you didn't sign up for it, right? You have a platform, you're allowed to say whatever you want. Um, and I appreciate what you guys say and I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, whether you like me or don't like me, don't like Katie, don't like Sandoval, whatever it may be, you guys tune in. And Leave me a comment and let me know what y'all think. Thanks.